What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're talking about a running back that Detroit Lions are going to be working out today. So let's get it started. We talk about the thumbnail, about the title, whatever you want to look by. The Detroit Lions are working out Jay Ajayi for the Detroit Lions today. I have no idea why I said that twice. I said Detroit Lions twice. Don't make any sense. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited. This is a 26 year old running back that I actually put in my list yesterday. So I'm kind of excited, okay, because this may happen. I was like, hey, it might happen. Now, you may be asking yourselves, okay, why would we go sign another running back, right? We got all these running backs. Why would we sign another one? Well, one, we just put Paul Perkins onto the practice squad. I thought I would just let you guys know that. And also, Trey Carson, like I said, he was dealing with a limited uh, hand hamstring injury yesterday well apparently he's not doing really anything today in practice so that's not a good thing what that means is Detroit Lions only have two healthy running backs in JD McKissick and Ty Johnson I thought okay maybe the Lions will go get looked for another running back and I put a list together of five free agent running backs that the Lions could potentially sign Jay Ajayi was one of those guys and the Lions are working him out today now Jay Ajayi would make some sense for the Detroit Lions and after watching Kenya Drake last night for the Arizona Cardinals I'm kind of upset we didn't trade for this man, okay? He looked really good for the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, it's only one game, but he looked really good, and I kind of wish we would have made that move, but we didn't. And we don't have Mark Thompson. We don't have Zach Zenner. We don't have any of those guys. We don't have Theoretic. So now there may be an opportunity to go get another running back, and Jay Ajayi is the guy that's been brought up a lot, and finally the Detroit Lions are going to work this man out. Like I said, he's only 26 years old, so he's not super old. Um, and in 2016, he was one of the better running backs in the NFL. Had over 1,200 yards rushing in 2016, and that's when he really blew up as a running back. Well, not actually everybody knew about, knew about him. That's when people started to know about him. I mean, I was seeing Jay Ajayi jerseys and I live nowhere near Miami, but I was seeing those. Why? Because he had a really big season in 2016. Okay. 1,200 rushing yards, nearly 1,300 rushing yards. He also had eight rushing touchdowns that season. So yes, he was really good that year and he only had 12 games that he started in. So Jay Ajayi definitely took off in 2016. Now, other than that, he's been a little bit like this. Okay. He hasn't been as consistent. 2017, not bad. 873 rushing yards. And then in 2018, which was last season when he was with Philadelphia you know he had a bigger role in the playoffs I guess I would say than anything but he did have 184 rushing yards on 45 rushing attempts which again isn't bad it's 4.1 yards per carry this guy consistently puts up over four yards per carry in 2017 it was 4.2 2018 it was 4.9 and in 2015 when he was a rookie there wasn't much there okay 187 yards rushing on 49 carries uh that was a little under four yards per carry but again that was his first year but other than that year he's been pretty consistent he just doesn't get tons of carries and once again, now, if he came to Detroit Lions, he'd be coming in about halfway through the season. But I don't know why. I just feel like for running backs, it's not a huge process, especially for veterans or guys that have been in the league a little bit, that's bounced around a little bit like Jay Ajayi, for them to adjust to a new offense. I think it's a little bit less than, you know, a new quarterback. They're going to take a long time to adjust to a new offense and get the playbook down. But for Ajayi, you can just kind of show him, okay, this is what we're going to do. Off tackle, yours inside, whatever it may be, whatever the run may be, and he'll be able to catch on pretty quickly. So even if we sign this guy, it doesn't mean he's going to play this weekend. And that would probably mean next week would be the time that he does play. But I thought that would be interesting if the Lions did sign Jay Ajayi. I would love to hear your comments below. I just thought it was kind of cool that he was on the list because usually I'm terrible with my predictions, but this one was pretty good. So let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Would you like to see Jay Ajayi as a Detroit Lions? Thank you, Prep, for watching, and I'm out.